Hi, I'm Becky Streepy from Glue and & Glitter and today we're making cheesy vegan grit bowls. If you caught my recipe for mushroom bacon a couple of weeks ago, you probably remember that I promised to share the grits recipe that I like to serve these on. And today is the day! Vegan cheese grits are super easy to make and they're rich and creamy and cheesy. They're great for a breakfast or brunch or I even like them as like a breakfast for dinner situation. You're gonna start by making your mushroom bacon and then while that's in the oven, cook the grits on the stove top and it should all come together about at the same time. If the bacon finishes before the grits, just set it aside until the grits are ready and then toss everything together. All right, y'all, let's make that bacon. Start with a five ounce package of sliced shiitake mushrooms. My package actually came pre-sliced, which was great and made everything really quick and easy. Add your mushrooms to the bowl and then you're going to add all of your bacon seasonings. So toss in a tablespoon of soy sauce. You can use a gluten-free tamari if you need to use gluten-free ingredients. A teaspoon of maple syrup. You can substitute agave nectar if you prefer. Half a teaspoon of liquid smoke. Don't worry, liquid smoke is available in most regular grocery stores and it's not a weird artificially flavored ingredient at all. The way that they make it is by actually burning wood and then capturing the condensation that that creates and that's where they get that liquid smoke flavor from. For oil in this recipe, I'm using a tablespoon of olive oil. You can really use any neutral flavored oil you like. I just like how olive oil tastes. Now just use a spoon to toss everything together and you just wanna make sure that the mushrooms get really well coated in all of the flavoring. So really toss it well, maybe for a minute longer than you think you need to. Once the mushrooms are nice and coated in all that bacony flavor, just spread them out onto a lined baking sheet and then use your spoon to spread them into a single layer. This single layer is really important because that's going to ensure that everything cooks evenly and you get nice crisp results. Now it's time to bake. Toss that baking sheet into the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until your mushrooms turn nice and crispy. While the bacon is baking, grab yourself a saucepan and let's make those grits. I'm using quick grits for this recipe. I do not recommend that you use instant grits. Quick grits take five minutes to cook on the stove top and they get nice and hot. Instant grits just don't get hot enough for the ambient heat to melt the cheese. I find that I get really mixed results with instant grits. You can make this recipe though with regular grits. If you do that, the amounts of grits and water that you're gonna need may vary and the cooking time is definitely going to be longer. Totally fine. Just look on your package and follow the directions for four servings and use that amount of liquid and that amount of grits and then just follow the rest of my recipe. Everything will turn out great. Start by heating two tablespoons of olive oil on medium high and then add a couple of cloves of minced garlic. That'll just take a few minutes and once the garlic is softened, then you're going to add four cups of vegetable broth or water to your pot. Water is totally fine. Vegetable broth will just bring a little bit more flavor to your finished grits. Bring that liquid to a boil and then once it's at a rolling boil, add a cup of quick grits to your pan and then cook it stirring pretty much constantly for five minutes until they thicken up nicely. While you're stirring, you wanna make sure that you're using your spoon to scrape the bottom of the pan because grits do have a tendency to stick to the bottom, even in a pan like ours where we just used oil. You don't want it to stick because it is a huge pain to clean if that happens. Once the grits thicken up, turn off the heat and now it's time to add your cup of vegan cheese shreds and just a couple of tablespoons of vegan milk. I'm using oat milk here, but you could use soy milk as well, or almond if you want, just something that's nice and thick and you want something that's not too sweet because you don't want too much sweetness in this recipe. Stir the cheese and the vegan milk into your grits until the cheese melts and you have a nice creamy mixture and you are ready to serve. Divide the grits between your bowls and then top each bowl with chopped fresh tomato your smoky mushroom bacon, and chopped green onion. To warm this back up, I recommend doing it on the stove top. Add your grits to the pan along with a little bit of vegan milk, and you'll just kind of keep adding milk and mixing until your grits get nice and smooth and creamy. 
If they end up too thin, that's totally fine. Just keep cooking, that extra liquid should cook off pretty quickly. To reheat the bacon, you can microwave it, but it's not going to get that crispy texture if you do that. It will maintain the flavor though and be delicious, it just won't be crispy. If you do want it to be crispy, you can either saute it up with some olive oil in a pan, or you can bake it in the oven at 350 for about five to seven minutes just until it's heated through. I hope that this video has answered all of your questions about how to make these cheesy vegan grit bowls. If you have any questions I didn't address, feel free to drop a comment. I'm always happy to help. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Happy cooking.